If you're a first generation college student and are considering going to law school, you may feel that you are somewhat at a disadvantage because you don't have any blueprint. Nobody else in your family has done it before. But we have access to resources. So I'm going to talk to you about why you are not necessarily at a disadvantage and why you can forge the way and be a very successful lawyer. Let's talk about it. Okay, first of all, let me just get it out the way. Yes, you are going to meet people in law school who have parents, grandparents that are lawyers, judges, have been in the legal profession for many generations, and you're sitting right next to them. Somebody, you as somebody who has never been to, nobody's been to college in your family, nobody's been to law school, and trying to figure out how you're going to really compete with them, right? It becomes, it comes from a part of like, you don't know what you don't know. You don't know what's out there. They may have a better idea, the bigger picture, what they're gunning for, right? And you may feel that it's not fair. Lucky for you, you are in a generation where you have access to resource. You have YouTube, you have internet. You can access things that previously wasn't available. Let's say when I was going to, <laughs> going to law school, we didn't have all these things available or even people before me. But people before you have done it. People who have, nobody has even gotten barely a high school education. They've gone on to graduate from college, to graduate from law school and be very successful. So I want to encourage you that it can be done. I want to also let you know that in order to perhaps avoid some mistakes, you may want to look into some things before you for forge that journey, right? So it can be done, but you have to do your research and you have to plan so that you don't make as many mistakes as you could um, if you had done your proper research. So I'm going to kind of talk to you about some things that you can do on the front end so that by the time you get to that application status or stage and even law school stage, you can feel very confident and not feel like, oh, I'm kind of alone. This is only me. So let's talk about that. Comment below. Are you a first generation college student that's going to try to apply to law school? What kind of questions do you have about the whole process? What are some things that you kind of second guess yourself about? Share with others and maybe I can even do a whole nother video about your question if enough people are interested in that topic. So I'm not the first person in my family to go to college, but I'm the first person in my family to go to law school. And so I was kind of like, I didn't know what to do. I definitely made some mistakes along the way, just randomly applying to law schools without really researching things, um, not thinking about, okay, these things should be done before I even apply to law school, thinking about, you know, what I wanted to do. I just knew I wanted to be a lawyer, right? And I thought that was enough. And granted, I was able to become a lawyer, but I'm sure that... I possibly could have avoided some of the mistakes I made along the way if I kind of had that blueprint. So I kind of want to let you know that, yes, it can be done. Um, you know, despite what I did, I still was able to become a lawyer, not because of what I did necessarily, all the steps. Um, I did make some intentional steps, but I didn't know about some steps that even existed. Even when I got to law school, I was just like, oh, that's a thing. So I want to start with, I know sometimes people who are first generation um, college students, when you don't have parents or other people in your family who can tell you kind of about the college experience, even about applying to financial aid and things of that nature, it can make it more difficult. I do so see some people who end up not finishing college because they don't have that support system. Their parents are like, they want their kids to do better than they did, but they really can't help them um, as far as applying for things, about getting the money to pay for college, about how to get help tutoring if you're not doing well in certain classes, things of that nature. So they end up falling by the wayside and not finishing college. And it's sad, but I know right now there are resources in place that can help you for people who don't know about college or law school. They have some kind of, I think it's called the kind of like a, um, a readiness program, right? Where they try to get you ready and prepare you for what is going to be ahead so that you're not like wavering, right? So I think that if you can look into that, and I think if you talk to your counselors, they may have more information about it, but they may not know you need it, right? So you have to put yourself out there. Like, I need some help. And I know sometimes people feel like that the pride in them may not let them say, I need some help. But saying I need some help, you'll be surprised at what the resources that people throw at you. And then you can decide which ones you'll take and which ones you don't. But if you don't say anything, people will know that you're kind of drowning. So I would say... Um, look into those research, the readiness programs that will help you both for college and for law school. 
So if you're at a stage where you already picked a law school and you're trying to figure out what to do, what I would do is go on LinkedIn and go to the law school you're attending and try to find the alumni from your law school, right? And connect with them. Um, some of them may be willing to be a mentor for you. They may be say, oh yeah, don't, you know, be careful about this class or this professor or give you some tips about how they were successful in law school. And they know they've been in your, in your seat before and they know that, okay, things are difficult. Let me try to give some resources. And you can take what they say with a grain of salt, but at least you know it's out there. And having, expanding your network before you kind of even get into the Weeds is going to be a good thing for you later. You'll realize that networking is a big part of how some people even get jobs. Yes, you're doing your hard work and internships and things of that nature, but what if it comes down to you and another person basically look alike? What's going to distinguish you? You having that in because you knew that person from you making that connection early on. So reach out to those alumni connections based off the law school you're going to. And they'll be very impressed with you. You'll say, hi, I'm such and such. I'm a, a 1L at whatever law school. And I noticed that you're also an alumni of law school. This, I'm a first generation law student and I would like to see if you can give me some advice about how to be successful. And people like to talk about themselves. They'll say, I can tell you some information and they just might be a waterfall of information coming out and you're like, yes, this is what I need to be successful for. So reach out to them. Here's another, here's another tip. And I think that it, it kind of speaks to people's personalities as well too, right? So you don't know what's going on. And I think they did an interview with Rihanna. She was like, fake it. When you feel, when you don't feel confident, what do you do? He's like, Fake it till I make it. That's kind of what you have to do. When you don't know everything, you fake it till you make it. You do some observation, you see what other people are doing, and you're like, okay, I didn't know that's how it goes, but I'm going to fake it till I make it because half the people out here don't really know what they're doing either, and they're faking it. <laughs> that's the funny part. Everybody's feeling like they're faking it, but you got to almost fake it till you figure out what's going on, and by the time you figure out what's going on, your journey probably in law school will be close to over. But that's part of it. Um, imposter syndrome, what I talk about in my other videos, is real, feeling like you don't belong there, feeling like you don't deserve to have that seat that was provided to you for interest in law school. But don't let that overwhelm you. Like you deserve to be there, work hard for that spot that you got over somebody else's and faking it. Like, I mean, sometimes you may not know, ask questions, you know, go to events, even if you don't know why you should be going to the events, fake it and then you end up at the events and somebody may guide you like, oh, you came here because of this? Like, actually, I did it, but thanks for telling me. What else should I know about these things? And people, you, most people in general that I've encountered have been kind enough to say, okay, this is this, this. You may get some people like, oh, you don't know that? You're dumb. Take it with a grain of salt, right? Check out our pre-law, law school and beyond playlist. We give you kind of the run of the gamut from college to law school graduation to finding your first job. And we kind of walk you through the process. YouTube University, as they call it. So check it out, and we'll see you in the next video.